Welcome to a tutorial video on learning ink. In this video I'm going to cover sequences, cycles, and shuffles. So we see here returning to the same example that was in the previous video, we're using the include keyword to include two different files, dinner and getting ready. The very next line, line 4, is a new thing. This is a shuffle. It is similar in construction to a sequence and a cycle, all of which are going to be reviewed in this video. A shuffle is different from a sequence, is different from a cycle. By the second character, this tilde tells it to shuffle these names and to pick one at random and show it to us. We see that here on the right hand side. It says it was Monday. If I restart the story, we see a random entry from those. In this case, it was Thursday. It was Monday. It was Monday. It was Sunday. And we see here shuffling of these. So the tilde within the curly brackets tells Inc. to pick one of these to shuffle them and show it to us. This is similar to, as we scroll through this example, line 14. So we see down here in their example, what should I do? If I click, does he even like guys? We see a repeat here. What should I do? What if I didn't say anything? That is the second of these. In this case, similar to the shuffle, this is now a cycle. And the second character is different. We saw on a shuffle it was a tilde, and so it shuffled, picked one at random, and showed it to us. In the case of a cycle, it is the ampersand, that is, the cycle keeps going. And we see here, if I ki keep clicking these, these will repeat. As we saw at the top, what should I do? What if I didn't say anything? Should I ask him out? We see these are cycling choices. In each case, though, as we saw with shuffle and here with cycle, we're within curly brackets. Again, the difference is the second symbol. For shuffles, it's a tilde. For cycles, it's an ampersand. As we move through this, we see we're going to see one final example of a sequence that was, in fact, hidden within the previous video. When I clicked on nothing here, we see all the text, we have to eat something. Well, if we go look at the dinner file, which is included in this file, <coughs> and we scroll down to nothing, we see we have to eat something. Notice this is the same as we saw with shuffles and cycles. It is within curly brackets. However, it doesn't have an extra symbol. It isn't a shuffle, it doesn't have a tilde, it isn't a cycle, it doesn't have an ampersand. In this case, it's just a sequence. So we saw the very first value, we have to eat something. As we repeat this, we see stop being silly. That is the next value in the sequence. And then it ends. Because of our choice constructions, we've already seen nothing twice now. As we saw in the previous video, and we talked about moving from line 14 to line 16. We've already seen nothing twice, this not. And that would also be the end of the sequence. So as a review, sequences like cycles, like shuffles, are all constructions which use curly brackets. Their type, though, depends on the next symbol within those brackets. If it's a tilde, it's a shuffle. So it picks a random entry of those and shows it to the user each time it's run. We saw that as we changed different days. We saw Monday and Sunday and Thursday, and these all changed. They were shuffled each time. We saw with cycles, it was an ampersand, and we cycled through those values. We see for a sequence, it doesn't have an ampersand or a tilde, and it moves through one to the next to the next sequence through those values. Again, in each case, using curly brackets to define them. Sequences end at their very last value. And so if we were to repeat, we would keep saying stop being silly because that is the last value in that sequence. If we wanted to cycle through, we would use a cycle construction. In that case, we needed an ampersand, and we would cycle through those values. If we wanted a random entry, we would use a tilde, and we would be using a shuffle. In each case, again, using curly brackets to define them, and for a shuffle, a tilde, for a cycle, an ampersand, and for a sequence, 
no extra things. For all of these, defined within curly brackets with a bar between each entry. Thanks for watching.